Hey guys, we have arrived in Hat Nyai. Um, and we're just waiting for the last guy to come behind us and we're gonna move. So let me turn the camera around. Uh, that's me and that's this one. Hello, Sawadi Kap! Sawadi Kap! Kapung Kap! Kapung Kap, yeah, yeah. So we're really excited to be here. Uh, the drive from here uh, to Phuket is gonna take us another what? Um, seven, eight, seven hours? Yeah. Uh, about six hours. Uh. Yeah, it's gonna be an interesting drive, and uh, while going there, I want to get some footage with this one talking about I don't know what. <laughs> well, one thing the experience uh, after the new system, again. Yeah. What what, what do you system, think about this system? I mean, have you uh, have you been to this particular um, sudah, spot before? Sebelum ni, tapi sebelum ni is not fully operated. Uh, I but the first time I went, hmm? there's a runner helping you oh. when they get you in. Inside a, a room mm. and they assist you with all the I see, application I see. where you don't have to queue anything. The last I came to this particular uh, checkpoint is uh, with, my, with my wife yeah. in my Almera yeah. and wife and I went inside. Out <laughs> of Thailand, uh, roads here are always amazing. As you can see, we've got a lineup of our Audis, we've got an S5, we've got an A7. And uh, in front we have got a guest star, the Lexus IS F Sport. And in front we've got an A7. Uh, yes, it's a beautiful day, no haze. But look at that, look at that sky, the beautiful clouds up to welcome us into the land of the beautiful. Kawan-kawan, kembali kepada acara di Hat Nyai Phuket di Hat on, Nyai. Yeah, on the road Phuket Sedang mencari tempat makan I'm tired lah, letih lah yeah. <laughs> I nak tidur <laughs> <laughs> I nak tidur, I nak mandi, I nak makan hmm, Kalau ikut kau ada lagi 600km tu Are you serious lah? Yeah Can you please google up? Um, sure, yeah. that's what I want to do Nak buat ni Don't kill me lah Hmm? Don't kill me. Let's see what it says eh. Um, sleep with me kan? Tempat kita pergi ni. Yeah. Yalah. Hotel yang kita akan tidur nama dia Sleep With Me. Ya. Sleep With Me. So we make a quick stop. One of the car have a problem. We gonna diagnose. Diagnose ah. Diagnose. Diagnose. Hmm. To see what's the problem ya. Yeah? Yeah. So, so in this journey the hybrid came. I brought my computer and so far this is the third car I'm going to scan. <laughs> So day one in our trip and uh, already we having some issues. The uh, Lamborghini Huracan has got some uh, problems with this drive shop. Okay, our mechanics from uh, KL have arrived. Mechanic, mechanic one, what do you think? Uh, uh, saya Video, video. 
Hey, wait, wait, wait. Hey, nak buka ni tak? Nak buka ni tengok dalam. Actually, can lah. Right, right, can. This is Cayenne. Cayenne. Ataupun teh tarik ais. Ais, teh ais. Teh, teh ais lah. Apa teh tarik ais pula? Dia dah tarik dulu. Tak ada lah. This is the best thing in the world. Honey lemon soda. Nice, simple, refreshing. You know, kan kat Malaysia kita ada Milo Denso. They have this. Oh, makan on milk. So, siapa tiru siapa? Oh, makan on milk. Woo. Milo dinosaur. Roti with eggs. Chop. Fried chicken. What? Yeah, roti with eggs. Tak ada lah. Oh, dia tepung kan. Orang ada nak tepung kan. Orang ada nak tepung kan. Orang ada nak tepung kan. Butter chicken. Butter cream. Old dip. Say hi, but not reliable. Yeah, exactly. Hahaha. So they uh, one in uh, Hatnyai, and uh, we're about to leave now. Um, the car that broke down the Huracan, we found, managed to find a tow truck. It's being towed to a workshop nearby, and uh, yeah, it's just full of excitement, adventure, and unknown perils. Well, hopefully the car will be fixed. But yeah, it's uh, been an interesting day so far. At this point, we were on our way following this uh, tow truck uh, into a place that we didn't know uh, <laughs> where was the mechanic shop or where was uh, the Cambodian border. All we knew was just to follow that um, tow truck. And as soon as I was following the tow truck, I looked back and I saw that there was no one behind us. Um, this car, this Lamborghini, which is a million dollar car, could potentially end up being lost in Thailand. That's when I, I realized that uh, I was the only person following this car and I was hot in its tail. Um, my only fear was, uh, like in the movies, if suddenly a truck would come in between us, block our view, and next thing you know, as the truck passes by, the car is missing. So I was pretty uh, <laughs> scared. I was trying to make sure I follow this Lamborghini. I was making sure I was recording the journey, and uh, and yeah, it was probably uh, the most scary ten minutes of my life trying to follow this car in an unknown land uh, without knowing the language. So and but thankfully we uh, went to the place. It was a nice uh, uh, mechanic shop. It was actually more than a shop. It was a, a big showroom. It was called the Luxury Motors, and it's a place where we saw a lot of Porsche. Uh, coming here for repairs, uh, but a, Le a Lamborghini Huracan, this probably was the first. So at this point, we arrived in Luxury Moto um, Services in Hat Nyai, and uh, yeah, it's a beautiful little place. And we were stuck with the next uh, quest, the next challenge is how to bring a hurricane down from a flatbed. Uh, we didn't have the keys, uh, we were waiting for Thomas to arrive with the keys. Uh, but even if we did, the drive shaft at this point was short and um, we just can't uh, drive it down. So once uh, Thomas arrived, yeah, we tried to back the car off. Uh, the guy, uh, the mechanic was trying to reverse the car and this was his first time uh, driving a hurricane and he was... Uh, Kind of stuck seeing uh, how do you put the handbrake on how do you engage the gear how do you put it into neutral for example uh yeah he he was <laughs> it was for him experience on trying to get the car into neutral um and here is thomas trying to show that um, both pedal um, if you press inwards it does engage the car into neutral at this point we figured there's no point for us trying to put it into gear it might damage the rush of s uh, as it's already damaged and we pushed the car in and um, surprisingly 
uh, from a carbon fiber monocoque, it was a very light car. We managed to push the car in. Uh, trying to get this on the lift now, the uh, four lift pose. And this is when we actually realized that uh, this may not actually be the best thing. Um, yeah, so pushing it in itself was a, a challenge because the car was pretty wide and it occupied the entire uh, breadth of the uh, post. Uh, once we're in, um, I was trying to go around and tell them, guys, this is where you can push or can't push because there were some expensive uh, parts here, as you can see, which were all carbon fiber and we can't apply pressure on those parts. So yeah, so um, once the car was in the four post, um, <laughs> the other challenge was how do we actually get those arms to go under the car? Because the car was so lowered, any attempt to bring it inside uh, was not um, successful. Um, like, like, like here, uh, this one, fiber cannot. Come, come, come. Huh? Fiber. Bro. Yeah. Okay, fiber. Uh. Can I, can I? Yeah. Okay, careful, eh? You know what? Okay, okay. Because he, he can like... Uh, can I just... Yeah, but... What's up? Four plus. One, one mistake. Uh, uh, <laughs> fiber gone. So we were trying to continue this journey of trying to get the arm underneath. When we realized, we didn't know where the uh, jacking points were. So some guys went on, on online the forums to find out where was jacking post jacking points for a Lamborghini Huracan. And what we found out was there were little holes on the chassis, the monocoque covered by chassis. And it's supposed to insert some plastic. And uh, that's how it's lifted. So even if we could have got the arm underneath here, uh, no way could we have lifted them without that special little uh, rubber uh, that uh, goes inside those uh, monocoque uh, bodies. So, yeah. And then someone came up with a brilliant idea. We just had to use the four post lift that was next door. <laughs> Once we were up, uh, we had a close inspection of the car, and what we found out was that. The, uh, there's a screws and uh, bolts which were holding the brusher in place and there were three sets of the screws um, and they all came off. Uh, luckily for the Huracan, there was a cover underneath and all the six screws and three brackets were captured uh, by the um, cover of the carriage and it was saved. Uh, so this guy here managed to um, put the screws back in, tighten them. He didn't have tight lock though. But uh, it was good enough, he uh, secured them in and that is my friend, the culprit, those little screws there. That had caused the trash to come out and it was like I don't know, 4 pounds each for the screws and the plate. Uh, and that would have caused catastrophic damage to a car. Pretty scary stuff but... So was... Thomas, where are we now? We are at... The middle of the way. No, this place is alright. Uh, this is a Hajai, this is a Hajai workshop. Oh, very grand workshop. It's not a workshop, la boss. Hey. Wow, wow. Cost me 100 baht. 100 baht, you know. Yeah. <laughs> because out there, I think there's more baht coming, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> yeah. You know, you sure, you know. You know. Alright, guys, you can see how the brand new hoop works. And we have to start the Laan. Berbilang Kawa. And we have to get to our new laser. So, Mr. Tiru, do you think this is one of the best uh, contests you can ever find? Definitely, bro. Maggi uh, looks good. Maggi yeah. looks good, huh? <laughs> For coffee, yeah, Maggi. Yeah. Fresh coffee bean, no? Look at Actually, that. the bill right, will be probably 1,000 oh. yeah. <laughs> For the food, probably 10,000 baht. A bit too much, like that. Yeah, too much, I mean. You're not too much, too. You think of the poor egg, you see? But this place is uh, MG Luxury, right? Oh. That's me, that's me, Travis. Thank you. Thank you. And just like that, after a couple of hours on the lift, the Huracan was back on the road. The roaring. Hear that roar. Ah, beautiful sound. 
we were all tired, but we all stood together as brothers, made sure that no one was left behind, uh, and we were ready to do a photo shoot, a photo op. We are now in uh, Hatnya in uh, the luxury supercars, and uh, this marvelous, uh, marvelous uh, place have uh, restored the have restored the Lamborghini back on the road. Uh, so these are our lineup here. And this is the technician that actually put it back together. Hi. Hi. Now stood in front of us the final hurdle. Uh, being tired uh, and being forced to drive that six hours drive to Phuket from Hat Nyai uh, was indeed tiring. Uh, we did keep our space though, we had our Zello on and we were talking to each other, cheering us on and it was a fantastic uh, drive there. The roads to Phuket now was so much good, so much better and just like that, with magic, we arrived in Phuket in Sleep With Me. The hotel's name is called Sleep With Me. Uh, entering the car park now uh, just to put our machines, our beasts to rest and I tell you the hybrid did very well <laughs> trying to keep up with the Lamborghini Huracan, the A5, the S5, the S7 and the RS7 yes after it's now um, 11.30 uh, almost 12, we left at 4 o'clock that means we have driven for 19 and a half hours and finally we're at our room let's see what we have here okay let's see what we have Not bad. Pretty modern room. Playing with words. Sheep with me. Nothing fancy though, but uh, yeah, they managed to play with colors. And this is supposed to be their designer hotel. Not really impressed though, but uh, yeah, it will do. Good night. Walking to dinner now. The guys have left first. Uh, I went back to the room and uh, washing up my face, freshen up my face. Walking to dinner, the boys have gone first. I went up to freshen up. So yeah, it's a short walk from where we were. Uh, but I guess you get to get to see the uh, sights. What's happening? This is more the tame road. On the opposite side of this road, at that corner, is the uh, Bangla Street, which is obviously a little more happening. And just like that, our day was trying, just trying to come to a close and we had our final meal for the day. It was midnight, we were tired, but we had to eat. And uh, as you can see, Phuket is still alive and kicking, greeting us in all its glory. Uh, the day was still young in Phuket, and we had to eat and hit the bed. Um, it's amazing that when you have gone on this journey with friends, um, you begin as friends and you end up being brothers. Uh, you come for a meal and everybody is just so happy to see you and I guess that's what's all about.